so fucking annoyed with all this fucking breakage like i can't do shit with my hair i can't have it out i can't have it up do it again do it again so i'm stopped i've stopped washing my face in the morning because i just something needs to change in my skincare routine so i've stopped washing my face when i get up and i just start using a toner instead um it works for my partner, it works for like the majority of my friends. They don't really wash their face when they get up to the water on them. Which like, okay. Let's see how this goes, I'm trying it for a week. And of course I'm trying it on the week where I have my period and I have like the most hormonal fucking shit going on. Not to mention I'm losing my goddamn mind. Why is it so hard to be a woman? I will never understand why. I was given all these fucking Hormones and mood swings. Thank you so much, God. Okay, so what I use, I'm using like three different ones though because it's probably gonna defeat the purpose, but uh, they all do different things. So I have one for dark spot. I'm gonna blow this fucking apartment complex up. I have one for dark spot treatment, one for collagen, and then one for like a glow. I did it yesterday and my skin looked really good, so I'm gonna stick with it. But yeah, I will say my skin looks so much better uh, throughout the day when I do this. Mm. But I think I'm gonna do a bunch of skincare stuff today. I just don't feel that great. Um, I'm gonna start being a little less hard on myself on days where I'm not feeling all that. Just listening to what I wanna do instead of what I feel like I need to do. Going to Target, this is what I'm wearing to Target. Um, leg warmers. Yeah, my apartment's a mess. I'm purging right now. I'm getting rid of so much stuff, but my hair's gotten pretty long. This is as long as it's been since I was probably in high school. And, um, that's almost 10 years ago now. Yeah, that's 10 years ago. So, yeah, my hair doesn't grow. Or I actually fry it so much that it just can't grow. So, live, laugh, love. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna walk to Target now because I need to exercise. She needs to exercise. I was holding her earlier and I noticed her belly was so big. I'm like, girl, are you pregnant? Or are you just eating really good? You're not moving. So I'm just like, all right, probably aren't moving enough. So. I thought that was like the one wrapper. I was like, I can remember <clears throat> to get what I actually have to get. So I have to get this is the game. So I have paper towels that I have to get. I have to get puppy pee pads. I have to get tampon pads for my fucking self or tampon pad. Tampon. That's it, really. Yeah. So let's see if I can remember. Because I'm about to smoke right now. So let's see. Walking over the freeway. Highway? Freeway? What's the difference between a highway and a freeway? I don't know. Either way, that bitch is clogged. And I'm like, I'm talking to all my friends and stuff who live in like Atlanta, New York, anywhere. And it's just as bad everywhere you go. So it's just like, should we all just stop having sex and stop reproducing? Is it, are we overpopulating the earth? I think they said we reached 8 billion people yesterday i mean i'm still having my kid but as a collective do we just need to relax with the having sex part i don't know i'm my name's bella hadeen um fucking whoa okay so the other day or this morning actually what am i talking about I, I just wait, sometimes I just wake up so depressed like you know you just wake up and you're just like everything is so bad like it's not gonna be any better today sucks like I hate today I don't know what to do but as soon as I, I walk outside uh I don't know maybe I just took my antidepressants also so it makes it better but walking outside combined with antidepressants combined with 
a little bit of weed. Uh, that might just be the trick for me. I don't know. I just love being outside. And I love weed. And my antidepressants are kind of cute too, but I don't know. Something about, even if I don't do any of this bullshit, I'm joking. But if I like just get up and get out, I always feel so much better because it's just like... I think it's just a reminder that as alone as I feel in my apartment or as much self-loathing as I do and as much negative thinking I do about like my life or whatever, there's billions of people out here that are probably going through the same thing, even worse. Not like that makes me feel any better, but it just makes me feel a little less alone and less sorry for myself. It makes me want to get up off my ass and do what I have to do because just like how there are millions of people who are feeling like I feel every day when I wake up there are people who don't and who are happy and who live great lives productive and whatever you have so it's time for a balance you know GG GG okay we made it we made it to the most uh popping ass target in LA this is where you can see every influencer every Every, every, ever. The only good thing about my period, <clears throat> because it fucks me up like mentally, hormonally, everything, emotionally, is perky boobs, big perky boobs. Okay, so I'm getting tampons right now, and these are the worst tampons you could probably get. Um, there is, I think, bleach in them, but these are the best, because there is no bleach in these, and also I have a heavy ass flow, so that's why they're the best as well. doing pretty good okay i got everything but the puppy pads now so let's go grab that Okay, I got it all. I'm gonna carry it home. I'm super strong. It reminds me of like when I was younger and I would try to carry all the groceries up in one trip on like one arm and cut off the circulation. I've always been that kind of girl. I'm so paranoid. I was in there and there was this dude who was screaming so loud. Just like, I think, oh, okay. Yeah, he was just screaming, running up and down the aisles. And honestly, I get it, mental illness, but damn, that shit does not make it a, a pleasant shopping experience but i got all, everything i needed and i'm gonna make rice balls later too so you know so they didn't have like the full size ones we're gonna use these little small ones and we're gonna make bite-sized rice balls this time hopefully it comes out nice i kind of got lemon pepper <laughs> tuna and regular so i'll mix them together but last time i had it the plain tuna was just too clean like i need this this is the rice uh don't judge me this is just something quick okay like Okay, so don't judge me or or do. Either way, it doesn't matter. I'm still gonna eat it. So I got these tunas, these in the packs because I don't know. There's just something about the one where I gotta drain it that I just feel like I'm doing the most. So I'm just gonna do these. This is a lemon pepper one, and this is like a plain one. And I do that because this plain one, not the specific brand, but the plain one that I got last time was just so plain. I'm like, I need some seasoning, and this one was already seasoned, so we're gonna use that. I'm just gonna scrape it out. I'm gonna get it all out. So I'm just gonna scrape it all out. Two two packets per like eating or whatever. I think it's perfect because it's not that much in these little packs. Plain, plain, plain. Yeah. Okay. So we've got a little. Thing here we're gonna add i'm gonna add some vegan mayonnaise and uh some seasoning other seasonings and then we're gonna 
we're gonna have our innings this is the vegan mayonnaise i'm using yeah best foods yeah since 1913 yeah i'm just gonna give it a nice little go just like that maybe a little more perf oh okay on the doggy pp pad perfect eat it gg mm -hmm. okay let me get to it furikake furikake yeah yeah, and I'm gonna put it on top also, but I'm gonna put it in there because it just adds like a little extra flavoring because it's kind of like not that good without any seasoning. Mm, 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 mm. It's good though, for real, no. No funny shit. While we wait on our rice to cook, we're gonna try this banana fanta. Banana fanta. And this was from This is from Trinidad and Tobago. So it's orange. Hmm. Oh my God. That is actually so fucking good. went down the wrong pipe but this is really good oh my god okay so y'all see how small these papers are right so i'm just gonna take like a little bit of rice like a tiny amount and put it on there like so and then i'm gonna take a little bit of tuna and put that there and then there we go. I have my little makeshift thing. Mmm. Mmm. My shit is a mess. Like, I know y'all see it in the back, but yeah, I'm gonna. I've been re watching True Life recently. Just, I don't know. It was on Hulu, and I was like, oh shit, I haven't watched this in so long. And honestly, it's so wild, like, watching this again. I don't know. It's just almost like a little time capsule. If she wants a boob job, let her get a fucking boob job. Moving past it. Yeah. Other things can yeah. Okay, so we're gonna bleach the brows. Uh one part activator, two part bleach. Okay, got the bleach on, so is my setup right? Got the bleach on. We're gonna leave it on for like 10 minutes and they should be good. If not, I'll go over them with this like light brown blonde tint my girl put me on too. Yeah, it comes out like the perfect ginger. So if you bleach it to bleach, like where they're white, which doesn't really look good on everyone. Um, yeah, you just go over it with that. So we shall see. <laughs> because I have like discoloration from when I got shitty ass microblading. So I'm gonna have to go in with the dye. But yeah, they're like, yeah, they're too bleached right now. And they're like giving ombre, bitch. Okay, so you can't really tell that I have on the other shade. It's gonna get darker, you'll see over time. But hopefully this will get them neutral again. I think it should be fine. Okay, see how they're turning like brown? I think I can wash it and then we'll see. It should be fine. And look at my little wig that I never wear. I spent $800 on it. It's a beautiful wig, but I just don't wear it. I don't know how to lay it. So maybe I'll watch a couple tutorials on how to lay that fucking lace because I need to wear that bitch out. She's so cute. And then I don't have to do my actual hair and fry it. I've already damaged it back again. But I just love the red. I had to do it. Now I'm going to have a smoothie. And I'm doing guava juice and passion fruit juice mixed with passion fruit, blueberry, blackberry, strawberry, raspberry. And I'm gonna add some coconut milk for creaminess. We got the finishing touch of the smoothie. That's right, that's right. And I made this mug. Isn't that gorgeous? When I come out with my ceramics line, I expect the support and love, okay? <laughs> Thank you.
Yes, Gigiana. Yes. Yes, girl. Yup. Yup. Turn up. Watch the dancing. Go, Gigi. 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 Go, 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 go. Go, Gigi. Go, Gigi. Go, Gigi. Ooh, ow, my nipple. Okay, so I'm getting it done. I'm getting a lot of my stuff folded and taken care of. I don't know where it's going, but I'm getting it folded. I'm getting it off my bean bag. Off my bean bag. Oof. And I'm watching vlogs about Sweden, specifically the city I'm from or the town, Buros. And it's just, um, it's just fun to watch other people's perspective and or them living there now and like seeing what it looks like in their videos compared to when I was younger, like the memories that I have, because clearly I don't have video. And that's what I'm getting to like think when it comes to vlogging and doing YouTube. It should really be like a time capsule for you to have later to go look at um, when you're like you know old or whatever just older than what i am now so yeah i actually think i i'm gonna take this a little more serious and make it more meaningful so that when i'm older i can come back and be like okay because i feel like i'm gonna get dementia because i already have a hard time remembering stuff so it would be so nice to come back and look at this catalog of memories that i have